you can actually evaluate quantities where, in fact, we have powers that involve powers and involve exponents. Let's evaluate these things. If we take a look at this, we're now going to use the properties of exponents that we, that we know. That negative sign way out in front, that's going to stick there. And here I see 3 to the negative 2 power. Well, what is the negative 2 power means? It means that I actually take the reciprocal of this base. And so that equals negative, and then this thing becomes a one third squared. So that negative exponent leads to the reciprocal of the base. And now I can square the top, which is a 1, square the bottom, 3 squared is 3 times 3, and I get 9. So this turns out to be the number minus, or negative, I should say, negative 1 ninth negative one-ninth. How about this one? Well, here I've got two-fifths raised to the negative three power. What does that mean? Well, that negative exponent tells me that I should be taking the reciprocal of the base. And so this actually equals five over two raised to the third power. So that's five to the third power divided by two to the third power using one of the properties of exponents. And now what does that equal? Well, 5 to the third power is 125. And I divide that by 2 to the third power, or 2 cubed, which is 8. And so I see 125 divided by 8. Again, when you see a negative exponent, the important thing here is to remember you want to take the reciprocal of the base. Keep that in mind, and you'll never get confused with negative exponents.